Welcome back. Let's take a look at a quiz problem from one of my previous games where I had made a mistake, and then we'll play some games. So, yeah, these I think are generated whenever the opponent um, analyzes the game using the service, and then service generates some puzzles or problems. And this is one such problem from my game. I played one move. The other move is correct, uh, or just a good idea. So the move I played was retreating one of these pieces. I think I was retreating the bishop, because a bishop is worth more than a silver. But maybe I did abandon the bishop. I don't remember. Um... Let's try the silver retreat. I think I did the bishop retreat in the game. Somehow, tactically, this is just... This knight is so much further removed from my castle. And so I'm able to defend much better in this case. Whereas here, they're able to capture my pieces. Ex by exchanging more pieces, I just straight up lose. Which, I'm having a difficult time understanding, but... The variations are what they are. I guess even if I do defend my king, after such a defense, if it's successful, this gold is still hanging to a fork. So any counterattacking chances I have are completely removed here. So practice your checkmates, know them well, and then it'll give you more time to think throughout a game. But for now, let's play some games. Um, yeah, what strategy to play? Something aggressive. Something fun. We'll pick something. Good luck. Bishop exchange. Not exactly my cup of tea. Sorry. Alright, what can I do to make this more interesting for myself? Ask the opponent about this, I guess? <laughs> this could be entertaining, though. No? I mean, this is bishop exchange, isn't it? Um, hang on. This is a move. I really don't know this opening. Um, but I think this is playable. And if it's not, the game will end very quickly. So, nothing to fear. Um, mm-hmm. I think I can do this. I think the gold stays here to defend against potential bishop drops. I think this is reasonable, although usually the silver is heading this way. Uh, this is beyond my knowledge, we'll say. Um, oh, I blocked my rook. Should not have blocked the rook. Hmm. Okay. Now my rook is floating about. Um, I guess we'll stop the bishop from moving here. And this gives my rook a little bit more breathing room, but not much. Uh, let's try this. I think I've seen players try that. Did I do my overlay? Yeah, I did. Good. Um, so a knight fork is kind of interesting. My king is just a bit exposed where it stands. So I think this prepares the knight fork. Their king move allows their king to defend against this knight fork. Um, interesting. Is this the point where I sack this pawn? I, there's too much to remember. And then we try this for the fun of it. Mm -hmm. That's a bishop exchange. Okay. So they get my knight. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Is there nothing I can do here? I just played this assuming that there's something. It, it's usually a good idea to look before you leap, but that's no fun. But losing also isn't particularly fun. Alright, we're going to sack the rook because I'm in that mood. Mm -hmm. I'm confident, we'll say. As long as I say I'm confident, it's fine for me to do this, right? You would think, though, that with confidence would also come speed, right? So, one could conjecture, probably accurately, that I'm not too confident in this. Um, but we'll see what we can do. We do have this line next to their king, and that's kind of fun. And we'll push this pawn and see what happens. It's not like chess where the piece values determine everything. So I rock the boat much more than I used to. Um, that's weird. All right. Oh, I see. They've been preparing this knife. That's kind of clever. I did miss that. Um, so at this point, I'm lost? Or mostly lost? Oh, they're giving me the knight. Um, do I take it? Do I drop a silver here, and then the silver takes it, and then that gives them a silver in hand to hurt me? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, let's take the knight. Um. Oh. Hey, look at that. That's a fork. I apologize to the opponent, but... um. I am down two minutes, so how apologetic can I be about this? All right, my attack has picked up some speed since I've collected the rook. Okay, yeah, I guess we're both prone to forks, aren't we? Uh, hang on, before I just instinctively take that, maybe I should read a move or two. Um... Now if I exchange here... King takes. I have one general. I don't have two generals. I keep miscounting that as two. I have one. Yes, yeah, so exchanging pieces would be dangerous, but also. Ay, this is just a dangerous position. Oh, hang on. Wait, no, I. If the king is. The king can't escape this way, however. Yeah, this is checkmate. Know your checkmates. Practice your checkmates. Know your checkmates. Don't have to solve them every single time. Just know them. So. Go. I think that's... Oh, this isn't checkmate, is it? It looked like checkmate. That really, really looked like checkmate. 
Um, hmm. If they block, Knight Drop is mate, but that's a bit unsubtle. Uh huh. So. How do I deal with this tension? I don't. <laughs> I just play moves and hope that things work. This is... Uh, don't play this way, folks. Know your checkmates. If you're having to read them out, that takes time. And if you're not willing to put in the time, it makes errors. If you're not willing to make errors, then maybe don't compete. Um, learned that lesson with other games a while ago. That it can be fun to watch and it can be fun to play. And it's more fun to play if you are prepared to play. So, word for the wise there. Mm -hmm. Otherwise you get situations like this one. And there ain't squat I can do to save this at this point. I misread the mate. There is no recovery. Um, if I resign, that lets me play another game. Yeah, I just don't see anything useful I can do to try to save this. I can try to complicate it, but no, this nothing holds. It's not even close. Well played. Thanks for the game. One down, two to go. Let's play again. Good luck. You'd think I would be on the other side of this position, no? In fact, I just wrote a study about reasonable moves to play for both players here and how to fall into an opening trap so maybe I should not fall into the trap let's see and I can push this if I think their king's going that way their king is going that way we know it is Mm-hmm. So let's just aim that way, shall we? Mm-hmm. Now what's a reasonable castle to build against this thing? Other than just any castle. Um... We're gonna try this. Hmm, how crazy am I feeling? I mean, there's no fork here, right? Oh, I can't take the pawn. The pawn's defended. Hello. Whoa, never seen that before. That looked cool. How do we make that happen again? Alright. So, let's play that up. If this doesn't spook the opponent, I don't know what will. OK. 
Okay. I'm defending my pawn. I'm threatening a pawn drop. Uh huh. This is interesting. This is far more dynamic than I expected. Four piece left me now. Oh, sweet. I played a castle, guys. Transport saw me play a castle. I've achieved my mission. We can all quit Shogi Wars now. <laughs> uh, that's a free knight. Let's take it. You know, I had an idea of taking this bishop, and now I see that the resultant fork is not necessarily there. Um, that said, how about this way? Might be blind. Let's find out. They've been moving very quickly this game. I'm the one who's actually in time pressure. Um, not in a way related to the game, but like, we got work to do after this. So I gotta wrap this up. I gotta win this game. I can't drop a pawn. My instinct was to drop a pawn there. I guess we'll just take a piece. Mm -hmm. So once we've captured all the opponent's pieces, we win. That's a win condition, right? You want to drop a rook on the opponent's side of the board, not on your own side of the board. Just in general. Um. <laughs> They're preparing a silver drop in front of this pawn. Hmm. This looks even more interesting. Oh. Wow, that's clever. I didn't think it was clever until they actually played it. Um. Okay. How do I defend this? Um... Uh...
Oh, there is a way to defend it. We take this. Go. We call their bluff. And we say, now we can drop a pawn. And that's why what they were doing is a bluff. So... Yeah, they can gain a silver for a pawn. Um, but look, their castle just keeps dividing further and further. It's not sustainable. They have a bishop, they have a silver. As long as I can defend against a bishop and I can defend against a silver, I am okay. Can I defend against a bishop plus a silver? We'll find out. Stay tuned for next episode. Um, hmm. Oh, look, I just walked into a bishop fork. I promise that was not intentional. That said, I have a rook fork to counter the bishop fork. Um, they didn't care about the fork. Okay, then. Well, if they don't care, why should I care? Oh, right. Um... Can't drop a pawn here. Bring it. Yeah, this has to run all the way over there. And oh my god. <laughs> Should not be so difficult. I'm just going to play extremely heavy moves at this point. Um, whatever it takes to protect my king. You are going to keep the horse on this diagonal, no? You're going to leave this defending your king. You're not going to go taking my pieces, right? Further, you've already dropped the pawns. So... Oh my goodness. That's a move. Um, That is a legal shogi move. I did not expect that move. Mm -hmm. Right. It's fine. I sense some aggression from the opponent's pieces. 
I sense more aggression from my pieces. Okay. All right. Are we done? Two games down, one to go. Let's do it. What's our next proverb? Defend the king. Oh, okay. Good luck. Maybe I shouldn't play Static Rook against somebody with this rating. Maybe I should look at the opponent's rating. Or I decide what I want to do. Also, looking at their moves never hurts, but this is me we're talking about. Oh, well, they have a fork right there. Um... Okay. Yeah, maybe don't walk into a fork. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That's a threat. Hmm. Mm -hmm. If I push here, do tactics disfavor me? I assume, but I don't know. Well, we're going to push the Rook Pawn. That's what you do. You want to activate the Rook, you push the Rook Pawn. Um, then I assume this is a reasonable thing to do, but maybe I'm just being crazy. Oh, fun. What the hell? They're rated to Don, and yet here we are. Um, okay, thank you. My pieces gain relevance somehow. I guess they're assuming I get checkmated here. Maybe I do. Like, oh, I just don't know, man. This is out there. This is super out there. Why? I mean, point noted, but I just, I don't know, man. It means something, doesn't it? It means they beat the Wandon players. I mean, yeah, you have your opinions about ratings on this site, and sure. Um, but you get two Don by beating Wandons. All right, we're going to activate the Rook. Maybe that's the wrong thing to do here. I don't know. Uh, 
Uh, push that. Let's break all the rules in one game. Nanafun. I think since my king has no escape. Hmm. Hmm, my head hurts. I I think what's going on here is just the hour of day of this game is factoring into the moves that are getting played. I don't have an alternative explanation. My ridiculous freewheeling style has encouraged the opponent a bit too much. Just a smidge too much. And yeah, I survived this attack and yeah. It's like if somebody were rated 2200 at Lee Chess, but was also playing at 3 a.m. I think that's the sort of effect we're seeing here. That, yeah, you'd expect them to win, but if they play moves that just accidentally happen to be bad, um, they don't win. You have to play good moves to win. That said, I still have to find some good moves here, too. I'm talking a big game. I could put a knight down back here and be a complete coward. Would not be a terrible idea. Um, but we can do better, right? Hmm. Wait, if we put the knight down... I mean, they've already got a knight. What's another knight going to do for them? Let's put this here. Okay, that's a fork. Hmm. We got some tactics. That's fun. Um. Go fun. Can't take that without bishop takes. Um. Hmm. We have tactics here. Oh, I mean, what are they going to do with the rook, right? What the hell's a rook going to do? Who's afraid of the big bad rook? Um. There, they have a bishop and a rook. And I've played some silly moves, but I don't see how they hurt me. But maybe that's because I just have completely lost the capacity to feel pain or something like that. Um... This is a goofy position. Engines like these, with Anaguma at versus Anaguma verse, even at the cost of a few pieces. Uh, interesting. So the opponent dropped their bishop, where it's obviously a fork, uh, but obviously has nothing else to do besides the fork. All right, I have to remove this defender, or this attacker. The horse right next to my king is a nightmare. Alright, so... 
Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, my silver's hanging. I can move it to deal with the fork or that hangingness. Um... And they'll sack here to get a knight, and the knight powers up their attack. Um, hmm. I thought I would have mate by now. Um, let's remove that. Everything's hanging. It's good fun. We're threatening a night drop here um, with nothing to follow. <laughs> uh, okay, well, this is extremely goofy. Oh my gosh, really? That's a move. Um, I'm so confused. Why would you do that? Sampun. All right. Yeah, exposing the king is important. So this lance move exposes the opponent's king. Um, so that's why I'm a bit confused about what they did. Yeah, like, they're trying to tear down the edge file, but it's defended. Um, now I'm threatening bishop prop. Eight and three? Am I crazy? Check. King moves. Uh... I know in general I'm crazy, but in this specific instance, I think I'm okay. I think I'm sane. Know your checkmates. Thanks for the game. I'm not claiming I know that one, but I got lucky. We'll take it, though. Oh boy. What a session. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.